Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's all about my June favorites. And the first thing that I want to talk about, of course, I love to start with is skincare. Um, I have a face and body mask from the brand Lush. And this is called Cup of Coffee. Now, this is a face and body mask. And it says, kickstart your day with a stimulating blend of fresh ground coffee, kaolin, and ag aguave syrup. And you just put a generous amount onto the skin, leave for 5 to 10 minutes, and wash away with warm water. And this, this is caffeine-packed ground coffee, helps scrub away dirt and dry skin, giving skin a boost. Now, this has been a lifesaver, if you can tell. I've used up half of it already. Um, my sister-in-law slash um, best friend put me on this scrub. She went to Lush recently and, and got a sample, the little samples that they give. And she let me try it. And this really, really works for dry skin. Especially in the nose area. I will leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. And before I wash it all away, I will really scrub it in my face. And you can literally see... Um, I have a lot of dry skin on my nose. You will literally see the dry skin coming off. It is ridiculous how well this works. And Kathleen Lights um, came out with her own nail polish brand. Um, and I do have some of the fall shades. I have the whole spring line. And I have the whole summer line that I just purchased. These shades are stunning. I have the shade on right here, which is called Ocean Drive. Such a beautiful color. Um, if anybody wants me to do a review on these polishes, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, I'm a mom of two, so I typically normally don't wear nail polish because nail polish, I mean, from... Taking care of two kids, so doing everything else, household work, my nails chip constantly, and I've I have not been able to find a good nail polish that will last long. And I find that these last for about a week, sometimes even more. Um, so we have the shades in the summer line, which is 305, which is this like bright yellowish green color. Such a beautiful color though. We have the shade Ocean Drive, which is like this shimmery, glittery, blue-green color. It is so beautiful. I have it on my nails right now. Such a beautiful color. And then we have the shade MIA, which is like this bright watermelon pink color. It is so stunning. And then we have South Peach, which is this peachy color it's so beautiful and then we have magic city which is a reddish orange color and last but not least we have porter miami so far the summer collection is my favorite um so far i've worn ocean drive and 305 and I just recently took off 305 last night and it lasted on me for a little over a week. These polishes are amazing. They are $8.50 a piece, but I bought the bundle set so I did save a little money. Her nail polish line is absolutely amazing. The quality on them is just out of this world. You normally typically need two coats, but I noticed that her nail polish does dry really quickly. And I am just so impressed because I've tried SE, every like drugstore nail polish line you can possibly think of. I've tried gel coats, everything, and nothing has really worked for my nails. But um, her nail polish line is absolutely stunning. Next I'm going to get into is this foundation that I've recently been obsessed with. And I know it took me a long time to pick up. And it is the Too Faced Born This Way. And it is a medium to full coverage foundation. It is oil free. And I am in the lightest shade, which is snow. I am very fair, so yeah. Um, this foundation is perfect for girls with dry skin. If you're a dry skin girl, you better pick this up. It is definitely worth your money. 
um, it leaves my face very lum luminous and I actually went to a concert a few days ago and I had this foundation on all day and I was not oily, I was not cakey, it was not separating anything. This foundation is amazing. Next thing I want to talk about is the Naked Heat Palette. I know this just recently came out but I've used it a few times already and I just had to mention this in my video. You do get 12 shades. This is a more of a warmer palette but these shades are just so stunning and so pigmented. It is just out of this world. How crazy pigmented these colors actually are. I'm just going to swatch them on my hand. The only one that's not really pigmented is that shade Ashes, which I don't know why, but that was a sloppy swatch. <laughs> I know. But um, I am wearing a look from the palette, which I think came out to be so stunning. I absolutely love this palette. Um, the next thing I want to bring up is I got this this brush from BoxyCharm. It is a crown brush. It looks like this. I got it in my recent BoxyCharm. And this brush is amazing for foundation. Like when I say amazing, it is amazing. It applies my foundation so flawlessly. And I'm just in love with it. I know I'm weird. Next thing I want to talk about, um, I just recently picked this up because I'm having a trouble with my bronzers looking orangey and stuff like that. And um, I seen on Nikki Tutorial's video that she likes to use the Hula Light bronzer. And I'm like, mm, would I really be this shade? Definitely am. I am very, very, very fair. So if you are a fair skinned girl, the Hula Light is going to be your go to bronzer. I have literally not been able to put this down since I've got it and it has a smell to it. It smells amazing. But it is not chalky. Next thing I want to talk about is this Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. I have not been able to put it down. It is a beautiful color. It is just that typical mauve type of color. I wonder if I can... Oh yeah, I can't swatch it. It is just that, like, very... Just that, you know, that color, you know? Anyways, you guys are probably going to think this girl has issues. I do, though. I don't. <laughs> Next thing I want to talk about, um... Why do I always say that? Next thing I want to talk about, just shut up and talk about it is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It is waterproof and this is the shade Porcelain which is the lightest. Um, this concealer is amazing. It blends out very very easily. Um, I'm just going to show you how quick this blends out. It is a high um, it is a pretty full coverage concealer. It does not crease on me at all. Um, I discovered it from one of Kathleen Light's video and it's just been my go-to concealer. That's it. I don't have nothing more to say about it. Just go buy it. Next thing I'm gonna... I just said I was not gonna say that. Anyways... Um... One thing I've been obsessed with this month is the L'Oreal Vol... I can never say this word. Volum... Volumous... 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 Whatever. Lash Paradise Mascara in Blackest Black. Supposedly, this is comparable to the Better Than Sex Mascara. The only issue I have with is it is gunky right there on the top. So I just find that... I just take that part off. This is how the brush looks. You know what? I have a better than sex mascara and I actually want to compare the two. They are kind of similar. Oh no. The brushes are kind of similar, I guess you can say. But um, I don't like the better than sex mascara. It flakes all over. 
my under eyes and I just don't care for it. It gets clumpy. Your girl don't like it and that's it. You ain't gonna try to force me to like it because I don't like it. But this is really good. Um, my last but not least loves of this month has been hands down the new Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. I know I have problems. But I drank way too much coffee, so excuse me. Moi. Um, let's just say that these became my favorite more than the Wet n Wilds. Um, I'm not sure on the price, but let me tell you something. These are matte. They are not drying. They don't budge. They don't come off. I had this color, which is heroin. This beautiful reddish orange color. I'm going to swatch all of them for you. And I had all of these. Uh, I had the um, heroin on all day one day. And let me tell you something. This did not budge. But... I am very impressed with the formula. I honestly think I might like these better than my ColourPop ones. And they smell amazing. The only thing I will say that I don't really care for is the wand. The wand is kind of weird looking. But it hasn't been like, oh, a huge issue. It's been I. Right. This is the shade um, Dreamer, which is that pinkish like pinkish nudish kind of color um the next one right here is creator which is kind of that, that hot purple color um the next shade is a believer this shade is escapist which is that dark purple shade perfect for fall and this is heroin which is perfect for the summertime i had heroin on the other day and it did not budge I ate drank everything with it on it did not go anywhere and as you see I kind of wiped it off my hand but it um, wet and it's still there kind of the formula I don't know what's in them but they're amazing I'm just gonna put it out there like that Maybelline you need to tell me your secret because this is honestly one of the best formulas I've ever seen in a long time um, I think I think that's it for the month I think so yeah that's it um thanks for watching my videos and thank you guys so much for helping me hit over 200 subscribers truly like you have no idea um, when I first started my channel I thought I was probably gonna have like maybe honestly 20 subscribers I never thought that I would have over 200 subscribers and I'm just truly 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 appreciative from the bottom of my heart how much you guys are supporting my channel and sticking around with the wackiness and the little goofiness of me don't forget to keep sharing my videos liking them and telling your friends about them so they can subscribe bye guys um I don't know why I'm always messing up my intro. Anyways. <sighs> Getting really tired of you guys not listening to me about my, what I have to say.